How about you guys? There we go. I'll make a little video for you guys today from my flatbed brothers on uh, how to use a tarping machine, the crane style. Let me zoom out here for you. This is a kind of standard issue. Sometimes I'll have three or four of these in a row. You got to share with your brothers. But a uh, pretty simple device. Just got a crane up there with a bunch of hooks on it. And uh, step one will be to uh, lay out your tarps. Make sure that your tarps are going to be long enough. See the. Uh, I got my overlap here. Make sure your tarps are going to be long enough to cover. All right, so we got plenty there. Now, I usually start, I lay out on the ground the one in the front, and you want to find your flap. All right, and you want to line your flap up with the front of the load. Okay, and then, uh, you know, your tarp would be all folded up like this. I kind of open it up a little bit and I'm after this first row, the first real row. Yeah, I need some new gloves, guys. Um, the first real row, not, not, the, not the outside row, but the first inside row, kind of expose that. Because uh, if you go off this first row, chances are some of these cranes are different heights. And if you go off the first row, especially with eight foot drops, you're not going to be able to pick the tarp up all the way. So if you go off this second row, you get a little bit more lift, uh, a little bit more height out of it. Uh, these are six foot drops. These are my Texas, Texas yard tarps. And uh, one of my standard issue prime blue tarps that I cut down to a six foot drop. So, uh, this will be the same thing for eight foot drops. Just go off this first uh, row or even the second row if you've got eight foot drops. All right, and then I do the same thing on my back tarp. Find your flap. Flap is right here at the end on this one and it's lined up with the back of the load. All right, then you grab your thing here, turn it on and uh, figure out which buttons do what. So we'll bring this down and uh, watch your noodle, watch your head. Don't want to get a fish hook in the, in the lip there. And uh, we'll move this thing a little bit closer. That one hit me in the head there, see? I'm paying attention. All right, then we'll come down, bring these suckers down. I have to play with the controls. Usually there's labels on there, but this one's all wore out. And then just uh, let that swing there. And I come on down the line and hook your hooks onto your tarp. Pretty self-explanatory here. Hopefully I'm getting this in view on the camera here. Just simple hook there. Got the GoPro mounted to my to my hard hat, guys. So if it's moving around, I'm sorry. But uh, there you go. That's that. And, you know, obviously with tarping, you always want to start in the back. So that's what we're doing. Now I've got some straps thrown already. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of weird. I like mixing it up. Sometimes I'll throw straps. I'll throw a few straps, and then I'll tarp. And then I throw the rest of my straps over the tarp. Uh, just helps keep it, keep it all together. Keeps it from ballooning out real bad. But uh, you guys do it how you want to do it. Some people throw, throw all their straps uh, first and then tarp. And then some people tarp first and throw all their straps over that. So that's all up to you. But uh, let's go up, up, and away. So we're just going up. And uh, this is kind of convenient here. There's nobody waiting for me and there's nobody rushing me. So I've got some time here. And you grab your flap. And uh, we'll go up a little bit more. 
and just take it up. All right, and then we'll go over, holding onto your flap, and uh, I like to watch here, watch here at this corner, and uh, stop it when that corner gets up to the corner of your product, right? A little bit more, right there. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you can fine tune this from the ground. You can pull it whichever way you want to pull it. But uh, that's basically it. You just go up and over. And then uh, now we're going to go down. Down here on this side. And uh, hopefully this will be tarps will be long enough to cover this. i just adjust this here on the end. And this is a dang Georgia Pacific, so you know how Georgia Pacific is. You don't want you up on the trailer for anything. So just kind of uh, adjust your, your back here. And, uh, and we'll go here and we'll unhook. Pretty simple. on something. Some of them are easy, some of them are not. This this load is kind of an oddball. I'll use these hooks and the straps to kind of uh, get some leverage on it. Pull that down. Pretty close there, but it should be all right. Hopefully, uh, when we bungee it up, it'll uh, it'll all come together. Now, go up, up, oh, wrong button, dude. Up, up, up. To where we clear the load. I'm no crane operator here. Alright, I'm gonna bring it back over. To the edge there. Look up. And down again. Go pick up our next tarp.
bit short. Uh, that'll stretch down, that'll be okay. All right, so same thing on this one, guys. Grab your hooks. Hook your tarp, pretty simple. We're doing the same thing. this down here All right. all right now we'll go up 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 and away This is the same thing, guys. We're gonna go over. Kinda hold on to the flap as it goes over. And maybe about right there. And then bring it down. I would be able to pull it around. Be able to pull it and make adjustments. All right, throw that over there, go around to this side. And unhook it. All right. We've got that done. Yeah, it's rough. We'll, we'll fix it. Let's get this thing out of the way so we're not uh, hitting our head on it. Go we'll put it away. But uh, that's the basics of the tarping machine. Basically the same idea everywhere else. All right. Always put things back where you found them, guys. Make it easy for the next guy. All right. So, now we just need to adjust from the ground here. All right, other side. Lots of walking. Get your exercise. This way, flat betters get more exercise. We actually have to. We actually have to do things. All right, so get that where it's just about even. tarps are set that's the tarping machine guys that's how it works up and over pretty simple don't be scared of it and uh, your first time you use it 
probably be a little bit frustrating. I was. I didn't like it. This thing sucks. But uh, as you use it over and over, it gets easier.